Hey guys, this is Sean from Rage Quit, and today I'm going to be playing some Kino Dare Toten. So, I've played zombies once or twice. Not going to call myself a, a prodigy, but I'm going to call myself a prodigy. I am, I'm shooting for around 30 or so, but if I fall a little bit behind, get to around 25, uh, don't, don't get too mad at me. I mean, oh, press A to skip. Perfect. Okay, so on first examination of the map, you can see no that a ah uh, oh, no or power. Obvious. Well then, how do you explain this, Richtofen? There seems to be enough power to power this here quick revive, and these sideways lights. I mean, there, there's probably plenty of power. You're just not you're just not looking in the right places. Okay, well now that I've got my quick revive, there's no reason to even like try and fight these zombies. I can just sit here and just quickly get revived and I'll be fine. You know, the name is a little bit deceiving on solo player. They should call it revive, not quick revive. Quick revive? Uh, I, I can, I maybe have to testify against that in a court. This is... This is too easy. These zombies are just trying to give me their lives, aren't they? It's like, hey, why don't you just take my lives for a couple hundred points? I will not object to any of that. Hmm. I've always debated on how I should choose which way I should go, so let's just throw a grenade up in the air and we'll see how see which way it goes at. that way okay well let's open up this door if the box is not here I'm turning around and I'm going back the other way nope box isn't here let's go let's go back as you can see I am a professional zombie player by the way that I've conserved my bullets enough to make it to round two with bullets in my gun I've played Kino de Totten about as many times as a cat has jacked itself off with a revolving spoon so it's a good it's a good amount of times I'd say maybe around 400 to 500 thousand times I've played this map but I've only opened up the first two doors this door and the door leading out to the uh, double tap so yeah I would consider myself a bit of a bit of a Pro with the zombies. Let's throw a couple grenades. We'll get or we'll, one grenade. We'll get some crawlers, or we'll just get quick. Or we'll just get uh, insta kill right at the end of the round. Always how I like it. I mean, why bother getting it at the beginning of the round when you can just get it right at the end? You know what? I think I'm gonna play this game without getting any little perk things, no matter how insta they may be. Okay. Whoa! Zombies coming out of nowhere already. Oh, damn it. Okay, well. My strategy of not doing anything seems to not be able to be paid off, so let's get this weapon. Perfect. This weapon kills them. That's, that's always a good sign. You know that your weapon is a functional weapon when it can kill zombies. Oh my god. Zombies are everywhere. I wonder where all these Germans came from. They must have come from somewhere. Do they have backstories? I mean, I've, I've heard of the backstory behind the, behind the story of Nazi zombies, but, I mean, they haven't actually gone into any, uh, any, like, details of who these zombies were. I mean, was this, na was this guy's name General Bitch? I bet he was. He was the leader of the SS Republic of the Dominican Republic okay well I'm already halfway nope I'm more than halfway out of bullets so we're gonna we're gonna keep on going keep on trucking as I always say hmm the AK-74U I, I don't have enough money so let's see if we can sell our body to prostitution in this game maybe make a couple bucks on the side 
can't hear their screams nope. if they no longer have mouths. My uh, TV is all distorted and I have yet to process the screen correctly, so it seems as if I've just made it to round three and a half. Hmm. I'm not progressing through this game very quickly. I didn't even know you could get to round half on this game, but looks like looks like I've done the impossible. That zombie died in midair. Where are these zombies coming from? Was there like a roof party of some sort? And these zombies were just coming off the roof. They all got like nuked up there. Hmm, I, don't even know. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm just gonna take that into uh, into account and have to bring it up when I talk to the managers at Treyarch. I am very good with I am in very good with the with the Treyarch executives. They've they've given me the task of telling them how shitty their games are. I'm quite well quite good at doing that, so they're giving me four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a game. Oh, I'm completely out of ammo. How am I going to make it? Oh god, buy this door. Oh, Jesus. That zombie gave me the old one, too. I don't know how I'm going to make it out of this one. Ow. Okay, well, these zombies seem to be the Mike Tysons of their time. I'm just getting my ass beaten. My God. How does my character put up with this? Fight back. Punch him in the face, Richtofen. You're one of them. Show him who's boss. 1,250 points. I thought every door costed a thousand points. Why can't we revert to the olden days, such as Noctare and Totten, when there were four guns on the walls and one location for the box? Those were the good old days. Perks? Who needs them? Okay, well, I seem to still have only $910. Money, what points, whatever. So I'm going to think of another way to get through this door. Maybe maybe if I kill myself, I could come back as a ghost. And I'll be able to to phase my way through the door. Seems like the best. Oh, damn it, damn it. What the hell? This zombie had a hissy fit and started running at me. Hmm, looks like I'm going to have to take him down old school by holding a grenade and blowing myself up. Huh. There we go. Oh, I may have messed up on the blowing myself up part, but at least I have enough money for the door. Damn it. The doctor is completely out of ammo and money. Oh, well, I'm not completely out of money. I'm just very low on money. There we go. Now I got enough money. Nope. Just made a crawler. That made my life ten times easier. Okay kill this zombie and I'll have enough money right here right here there it is boom got enough money to to get my way through this next doorway then I'm gonna try out the uh, circle technique because I know how many people just love to watch somebody spin around in circles and not not do anything but spin around in circles repetitively so we're gonna try that out for a little bit okay well it seems as if I am in a little bit in a little bit of a pickle here because I have no ammo, I have no money, and I have no way of escaping except for the teleporter. So let's let's go through the teleporter. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna just juke out these zombies. There we go. The zombies are bowing down to me. They have treated me like their god, and I have accepted. Okay, time to throw some some grenades down here. Oh, got enough for some more grenades. That's good. Throw some more grenades down here. Oh, that grenade did not do... Nope, none of these grenades are doing anything. Some For some reason, that zombie over there lost his arm from my grenade throwing. Okay, well... Oh, we're teleporting out of here. Let's... Perfect. I love it when I spawn and I'm too dazed to do anything. Oh, where were all of these zombies before? When I had a bunch of grenades and nothing to do with them. Where were these zombies? 
Okay, well this is just getting a little bit ridiculous here. I have to fight the entire SS army by myself. And there is no one around to help me. I am going to die. Ugh. Just jump around this zombie. Maybe if I go for the weaker of the zombies, they might they might treat me as an equal and I might be able to Nope, nope, I died. There we go. That that was that was just lovely. Still not enough money to uh, get my way through this these tough times. Okay. Well, this is good. Oh shit shit. God, zombies coming out of nowhere now. The world is never a safe place when you got zombies spawning from behind you and attacking you. There we go. I've got enough money for... Nope. Still don't have enough money for anything. Still not enough money for anything. Oh, well, my TV decided to turn itself off. Oh, it turned back on. Never mind. Okay. Of course I have to resort to stabbing. What have I been doing for the past 20 minutes, Rick Coffin? Where were you? God damn, Crawler, I knew he would be my demise. There we go. Okay, let's buy some ammo for this thing. Perfect. Oh, I don't even have to reload. That's pretty handy. Go, oh, God. I'm not going to get used to that. Zombies running. Hmm. Oh, I still don't have enough money to buy the cheapest weapon in the game. <laughs> the depression must be hitting hard in this time era because I am completely broke. Not completely, I do have 410 points. But since when has that been able to buy you anything but some... Oh, that's a carpenter. We're not getting that. No one likes carpenter. I've decided to spend my last little bit of money on uh, claymores. Claymores seem like the only logical way to uh, solve this zombie outbreak. Oh god. Going through this way. Oh! He makes the slip and he, he goes for the pass. It's a touchdown. Okay, I'm gonna go through this way. I think this is where the claymores were. Oh, the box. Perfect. And with two bullets left, who can go wrong? Wow, those two bullets were the most powerful bullets I've ever seen in my life. And I'm cornered with no quick revive, no... I, I'll just call it revive, there's nothing quick about it. It took me like 42 and a half years to get up. Okay, well, this is, uh, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Oh, there it is, there we go, round six, perfect, loving it. I am just, oh, look at that, look at that score. That's going up on the leaderboards for sure. I am going to be recognized for that score. 8,730 points. That, that's, that's, I think that is world record breaking right there. Guinness World of, Guinness Book of World Records has got nothing on me. Okay, well, this has been Sean from Rage Quit. If uh, you liked the video, then comment on it. If you want to comment on it, then hit that like button. And, um... I guess you can just actually subscribe. I mean, there's no, it doesn't hurt anybody. Except for, of course, my guy who just died. It had nothing to do with the fact that I held the grenade. I spontaneously combusted. That's what happened. Okay, well, see you guys.